Hey, what's going on, vets? Markel here, back with another video. So, sorry about Saturday roll call. I didn't have to put a post out because I knew there wasn't going to be a Saturday roll call. And on the community page, I did leave a comment about it. I don't think many people saw it. But I do plan on having Saturday roll call this upcoming Saturday. As a matter of fact, I plan on doing a couple of lives uh, starting Wednesday, probably Wednesday, Thursday, maybe Friday, but for sure on Saturday because it will be the last uh, Saturday roll call in this apartment. So I'm going to continue it where I'm moving to. And uh, I decided to move outside the city. I'm not going to say where, but I decided to move outside the city and uh, try that for a little while because that's what I've been doing lately is uh, trying out different places, see what I like, see what I don't like, see what it's like at night. Uh, see what it's like during the day walking around at night walking around and you learn quite a bit <laughs> You learn that uh, as a gringo when you're not with locals You can't go everywhere you think you can go even staying in some of these places When you're not really with the locals or you don't know any locals It can be a challenge and the prices are definitely going to change uh, I had someone reach out to me when I showed that apartment on a short that was $22 a night and he asked me where it was I told him where it was and he called him you know on whatsapp because he speaks you no know, Spanish and uh, they asked him what kind of ID he had and so on and so forth you know he had his passport so when they quoted him a price they quoted him basically the gringo price which is three times higher <laughs> than the price I gave which was $22 they charged him $66 a night so I mean, that kind of goes with the territory of living here. These are things that you learn when you live abroad and you, you can speak the language, you understand what goes on around you and you can actually talk to people instead of pulling out that translator. It does make a difference. Now, I'm not saying that you have to learn Spanish in order to live abroad, but it does help tremendously that you can understand and that you can actually talk to people and, and let people know what you need or what you want. So that goes a long way. But I just wanted to share this experience with you guys, which is why I'm showing you guys these videos of what I've been up to lately and the changes I'm looking at making. I mean, I love being in the city of Medellin. Uh, I love being in the Poblado area where I have been, especially lately, because there haven't been a whole lot of tourists because of the pricing going up as much as it has been. But I just want to try something different. You know, I've been in this same apartment complex for about five years now. And uh, I just want to move outside the city, take a break from it. And then I can always come back and get another apartment. As a matter of fact, by the time I do come back, uh, hopefully, um, you know, I can get all my other stuff done with residency. And then uh, I'll fly to Bogota and make sure I get that done right away. But honestly, I don't really want an apartment anymore. I just want to kind of like live in hotels and live free. Like when an apartment, living in an apartment, what I've noticed since I've been in here five years, I accumulated a lot of crap I don't even need, I don't even use anymore. It wasn't like back when I used to travel, I just had one bag that was all tech and one bag that was just clothes and it made life simple, you know? Versus living in an apartment, you accumulate stuff. You just start buying stuff, buying more and more and more. So I had to go buy a separate bag off Amazon and now I'm letting that bag stay at a friend's place uh, somewhere that's outside the city. I'm not worried about stuff getting stolen or being messed with at all. And I'm gonna leave it with her and uh, just travel the way I used to travel with two bags and that's it. Just basic living, man. Just not having a whole lot of stuff, not having a whole lot of you know valuable stuff with me. I'm gonna have some things, but nothing like I would have and just live free. To me, it's like living more free, uh, like a nomad. Technically a nomad, I'm not gonna have a, a really an address. I'm gonna be in hotels. You know, I'm gonna have my caregiver come by like she normally would because I'm only like, it'll be like an hour, hour and 15 minutes outside the city. So I've already talked to her. We kind of got a schedule going with the driver to figure out the days that she can stay, the days she can only stay during the day, that type of thing. So we got all that figured out. But for the most part though, man, I'm gonna try to show you guys what it's like living as a disabled veteran among the locals, right? Because in the city is one thing. In the city, you can kind of get away with a lot more because there are far more people in the city that speak English than it is in the Pueblos. 
in the Pueblos, there might be one or two. <laughs> and you may hear a lot of English music. Just because you hear English music, that does not mean they speak English. Uh, I had to learn that one a long, long time ago. I'm going in somewhere because I hear rap music playing. I'm thinking, okay, they understand English. No, they don't. <laughs> they just like the music. Uh, and sometimes it's just the beat of the music that they like as well. So those are all things that you learn from the experience of being here. But uh, I'm in a good place right now, man. I've been, you know, giving away stuff that I don't need. And this is what I mean. If the amount of money that I put in the stuff that I have given away is like incredible. So, and I'm still handing out more stuff. And then next is gonna be all the cleaning supplies, um, all the different cameras I had in this apartment. I no longer need all that stuff. Uh, the cleaning supplies, keeping the apartment clean. You know, I got a maid now, a, a housekeeper at the hotel. I don't even have to do that anymore. So it kind of like eliminates a lot of the other stuff. And I get to see uh, how they live in this Pueblo, as well as practice my Spanish, learn new terms, learn, learn more of the local terminology versus, you know, what I've learned here in the city. So with that being said though, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. I'm gonna end it, man, showing you guys some more of these drone shots I got in a much longer format. The video is about two minutes long with this drone, but that's gonna be it for now. Hey, I'll be back on Wednesday with a live show, probably during the day. Uh, I don't know exactly what time, but I'm gonna do a live show, uh, talk about some of the latest things that are happening with the Department of Veterans Affairs, as well as with Social Security, and answer some of you guys' questions that were left behind. But that's it for now. Hey, I appreciate everybody watching as always. And until the next time, guys, I'm out of here. Peace, enjoy the rest of your day.